Aloha Kia presents Ohana Road, Hawaii's award-winning automotive TV magazine. Featuring all the latest and greatest cars, vans, and SUVs coming your way. Visit with celebrity car enthusiasts. A look at fabulous classics and cars of tomorrow. Go cruising with local cars and stars. With your hosts, Jordan Segundo and Rachel Picaro. Aloha and welcome to Ohana Road, Hawaii's favorite TV show about cars. I'm Jordan Segundo. And I'm Rachel Pocaro. And we have a mixed plate of great car information and automotive infotainment for you. So come along for the ride as we take you on a journey down Ohana Road. This week on Ohana Road, we shine our new car spotlight on two outstanding 2011 models from the fastest growing car maker on the planet, Kia. On Cars and Stars, we visit with two of America's most famous race car drivers. Dan Gurney and Parnelli Jones. And on Car Mania, we have a bit of auto insanity in the desert as we check out some highlights from the dangerous Dakar Rally. Then on Concepts and Classics, we take a look at some of the future cars from Kia. All that and more, plus a bunch of Maloney. So put the top down and let the wind blow through your hair because we're racing down Ohana Road right after this. Welcome back to Ohana Road. In our new car spotlight, we feature cars from the hot selling car maker, Kia. This week, we bring you the 2011 Forte. With contemporary style and enhanced levels of refinement, the new Kia Forte is setting new standards. Starting at just under $15,000, this front wheel drive four door compact has a lot to offer. Available in three trim levels, LX, EX, and SX, Forte shoppers have a choice of two motors. A base 156 horsepower 2 liter 4 in LX and EX models, or a 173 horsepower 2 liter 4 cylinder in the sportier SX. The Forte also boasts class leading interior space with a luxurious feel and look that includes generous headroom, lots of legroom, and a comfortable back seat with plenty of space for two adults or three children. It also has a huge trunk of 14.7 cubic feet, so there is plenty of room for you to pack all your gear and hit the road. The Forte even comes jam-packed with a wide range of standard extras like Sirius satellite radio, iPod and Bluetooth connectivity, plus steering wheel controls and voice activation. All safety features are standard in the Kia Forte, backed by Kia's industry-leading 10-year or 100,000-mile warranty, making this car one of the safer small cars on the road. So if you're looking for a car that has it all, the Kia Forte should definitely get your engines revving. But wait, there's more! The hot 2011 Forte Coupe is also making waves. In only its second year of national competition, the Kinetic Kia team earned an impressive second-in-class victory in the grueling two-and-a-half-hour Grand Am race at the Daytona International Speedway. Drivers Andy Lally and Nick Johnson powered from an 18th place starting position to a prestigious podium finish, beating Mazda, Honda, and BMW racers, highlighting the durability and ruggedness of the new Forte Coupe. Way to go, Kia Forte! A sporty and attractive car at an affordable price? You can't go wrong with a Kia Forte! And now here's Jordan with this week's Cars and Stars. Thanks, Rachel. Today in the world of auto racing, there's a group of young racers that are leading the pack. Like funny car drag racer Ashley Force, 20-year-old Trevor Bain, winner of this year's 500, and of course the lady phenom herself, Danica Patrick. And it's likely these young racers were inspired by these next two men, legendary auto racers Dan Gurney and Parnelli Jones. Dan, you and I are both members of the what I think is the greatest car club in the world, the Checkered Flag 200, the support group for the Peterson Automotive Museum. It's great to have you with us. Great to be here, Barry. <laughs> you grew up in Long Island and uh, moved out to California at age 17, but even before you moved to California, you got interested in going fast. I had already sent away for California Bill's Hot Rod, uh, How to Do It, little book, uh, even when I was back in Long Island. So, really? Yes. I became a big fan of the midget racing uh, boom there in 1947, 48, and, uh, you know, I was 
I was smitten. He raced in 303 events in 20 countries and 25 different makes of cars, winning 48 races and finishing on the podium an additional 41 times. Gurney is the first driver to ever win in four major categories of motorsports, Grand Prix, IndyCar, NASCAR, and sports car. He was, and still is, the only American racer to win a Grand Prix race in a car of his own design and manufacture. One of his first stints as a racer was with Ferrari's North American Racing Team, and soon after, he was picked to drive for Enzo on his factory Formula One team in Europe. At the age of 28, the offers poured in. One of his finest racing moments was winning the 24 Hours at Le Mans with A.J. Foyt in 1967. His legacy was firmly established when he was inducted in the International Motorsports Hall of Fame in 1990. You know, there are some celebrities like Cher and Madonna that are so famous that they're instantly recognized just by the mention of their first name. And for those of us who are car crazy, there's this guy named Pernelli who has that same type of legendary status because of all his wonderful accomplishments in the racing world. Parnelli's flamboyant driving style, willingness to take risks, and desire to win have made him one of America's greatest racing champions. He has raced jalopies, midgets, stock cars, off-road, and Indy cars, just to name a few. He was the first driver to qualify for the Indy 500 at over 150 miles per hour in 1962. And in 1963, he dominated the Brickyard, winning the Indy 500 in J.C. Agajanian's number 98 Roadster. He also won the Baja 1000 and the Trans Am Championship. If it had four wheels and went fast, Parnelli could make it win. Was there a first time when you were behind the wheel and it, it, it started occurring to you that, hey, I, I really have some natural ability to do this. I could can, I can be good at this. Believe it or not, I never, after wrecking my car week after week after week, I had all this desire, but I didn't have the natural talent. I didn't have it. I had this desire. And once wow. I was able to conquer my desire a lot, then the talent came. If you could put it in one word, no, what didn't. was it that was the key to your... It have to be desire, just total desire. That's what I would. And, uh, you know, to be better than, than the next guy. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, I like, like I say, I, I, you can teach somebody how to drive, but you can't teach them desire. Welcome back to Ohana Road. In this week's Car Mania, we bring you the most exciting and dangerous off-road endurance rally race. In this rally, participants brave the elements as they travel over some of the most treacherous sections of desert and mountain terrains in the world. Here is the toughest rally of them all, the Dakar. While this year's running of the treacherous Dakar Rally, or as they call it in Europe, the Dakar Raid, was run in South America, let's look at past year's Sahara Desert Dakar Series that attracted record-breaking entries from 42 countries, which this year included China, Thailand, Mexico, and Slovenia. The Dakar ran through Lisbon, Portugal, and passed through Spain, Morocco, Western Sahara, Mauritania, Mali, and Senegal. The flat-out race covers a distance of 8,000 kilometers, most of it through seemingly uncharted areas and vast deserts. Some would ask why. Why does the Dakar attract an entry consisting of 250 motorcycles, 187 cars, and 88 trucks? Of course, it's the challenge to win, to excel, to dominate. Bragging rights for most car manufacturers entered winning the day car provides fodder for the publicity and advertising machines that touts their product's durability. This also holds true for many of the motorcycle makers such as Honda, Yamaha, KTM, Suzuki, and Husky. It's a win on Sunday, sell on Monday situation. Many drivers such as NASCAR ace American Robbie Gordon and Mark Miller, as well as Mitsubishi's Luke Alfonio and Ginio Valer are professional race drivers. Many others attesting to the fact that the day car is a young man's challenge were aged 18 to 39. 
The terrain the racers encounter is much tougher than that experienced in an off-road race as they traverse sand dunes, mud, camel grass, rocks, and dried up water holes. Even with a record 525 entries, the day car can become a lonely venture as teams spread out over the vast desert day and night. Many lose their way and must ask tribesmen for directions. While motorcycles with their single driver exposed to the elements definitely shells out the most punishment as they fly across the desert ripping off 560 miles a day, it's the cars and trucks that seem to attract the most media attention, the most TV coverage. Flagmasters from the auto companies entered such as Mitsubishi, Volkswagen, Hummer, Nissan, BMW, Land Rover, and Honda make sure their steeds receive recognition. Blistering hot days in the desert, freezing nights in tents, and fierce competition. Why? Because it's the day car. Another new car spotlight as we bring you the 2011 Kia Soul, a sporty and trendy car that gives you a new way to roll. A fun take on the now popular urban wagon theme. This trend-setting four-door wagon is easy to spot with its youthful styling and combination of curves and eye-catching lines. The Soul adds a rear-sloping roof and blacked-out pillars which make it look more aggressive and more noticeable than others in its class. And the new Soul just begs to be customized. Choose between three unique interior colors to personalize the look and feel of your Soul. There's even glow-in-the-dark seats. Inside, there's seating for five and a roomy cabin which gives you plenty of storage space. The Kia Soul also comes with a host of standard and customizable features. Under the hood are two engine options, a 1.622 horsepower or 2 liter 142 horsepower engine, along with the standard 5-speed manual or optional 4-speed automatic transmission. The 2011 Kia Soul also excels when it comes to safety and is backed by Kia's 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. So whether you're a hip hamster or someone who likes bold styling, a comprehensive warranty, and endless custom features, you're bound to love the 2011 Kia Soul. And at under $14,000, it's a car you want to be seen in. The new Kia Soul is definitely a car that will get you noticed on the streets of Hawaii. To learn more about this cool car, visit Aloha Kia. Now don't go anywhere, there's more Ohana Road right after this.